that health care bill is one of the reasons why I'm angry and embarrassed as an American and getting more involved in government. Take a look at its attitude about what government's job is. I think government's job is to protect our liberties, to protect our property, not to take our rights away. It's also not our job to come in and tell you, if you're a doctor, that you're now a utility and that whatever you decide, you know, uh, that, that whatever you charge and that whatever you decide to do is subject to government regulation. Some other things in that bill, entirely nuts. They, they had a plan to try to reduce the cost of student loans uh, by getting the banks out of the way as middlemen. And uh, instead they said, no, let's keep the, the same price, throw the banks out of business, and use that as a tax to help pay for this thing. That bill needs to be repealed. We need to replace Mark Baggage, ultimately, if he won't vote to repeal it, and I, we need to replace him anyway. Uh, it, it, it makes absolutely no sense at all. I, I am very familiar with the challenges of health care because my wife contracted brain cancer. And thank goodness we had a health insurance policy that let us follow our choices. Uh, we worked uh, with Providence Hospital uh, here, we worked with uh, the Mayo Clinic, we worked with UCLA to try very hard to save her life. Uh, thank goodness there were not death panels. We had, uh, there were people from the insurance industry I threw out at the house at one point where they, they said, well, we're here to help you, you know, set limits to your cost. And I said, I'm, I'm for limits to the cost, but I'm for, for giving this woman a chance. And uh, Sarah Palin was right on blowing the whistle on that issue. And we have to be very, very careful that this is a government that promotes choice and diversity in health care and not a one-size-fit-all issue and not taking it over. Uh, that's why, one reason why we have 50 states. I'll put it this way, I, I met with the Attorney General, uh, he was writing that opinion the weekend we were all in Juneau for the Republican Convention. And uh, I, I had coffee with him as he was going over the last draft. And he said, you know, this is the only time that the federal government has told you you have to buy something that Congress has ever passed that kind of a law. He told me recently that in, uh, even though we're the 19th state to, to file, that Alaska's work on this will be very powerful work. It's probably the best opinion, the best complaint that's been filed so far, and other states are amending their complaints, using their complaints to use it. This is Alaska standing up to fight, and we have to stand up to fight and do it. And then finally, I, I will just say this, to the extent that we have the discretion here as Alaskans to work to take care of Alaskans, I'm for it. On the Alaska Na Native uh, Tribal Health Board uh, uh, Foundation to, to help them fill in the problems that they've got. I suggested to Mark Begich that, uh, uh, that he help us more on suicide and we didn't get the money for suicide. And we, our kids are dying in rural Alaska more than any other group. Uh, and we're, we're, not, we're not working that problem well enough. There's lots more that we should be doing here and addressing exactly what you've talked about.